dating back to the early 19th century. This well-known music venue not only entices world-class bands and DJs, it also has a reputation of being a haunted venue. Sir Walter Rayleigh is thought to be connected to the old Queen's head in some way, most likely down to him either owning the inn, or being a regular customer. The pub is said to be haunted by the ghost of a young girl and a woman. Many people have heard the sound of running footsteps upstairs, believed to be those of the young girl. Staff have reported hearing the running footsteps ahead of them as they make their way up the stairs. People have also reported hearing the young girl crying, and have also witnessed her slam doors. Another ghost woman has also been seen, apparently wearing Tudor clothing. She's most commonly seen on the first Sunday of the month. Another famous haunted pub is the Skirid Inn. Standing in the shadow of the mountain for which it was named after, the first floor of the inn was used as a courtroom where people who committed serious offences were given capital punishment. According to local legend, more than 180 felons who have been convicted were hanged from an oak beam over the staircase just outside the courtroom. Markings from the rope can still be seen on the staircase today. The holding cell for prisoners has now been converted into a storeroom. The inn was also reportedly used as a rallying point for the supporters of the Welsh Revolt, which was against Henry IV. Numerous kings have supposedly stayed in the inn. The Skirret has been an inn since 1110, and it's most famous for being the courtroom of Judge Jeffreys, the hanging judge during the wake of the rebellion. It still retains some of its oldest features, such as the wood-panelled restaurant and its old ship bell used for calling last orders. Skirred Inn is the residence of several spirits, and various supernatural occurrences have happened here. The inn has a reputation as being one of the scariest places in the UK. Several paranormal investigators have been here over the years, trying to prove the existence of its ghostly residence. When the former landlady of the inn tried to sell it, glasses went mysteriously flying in the kitchen. The hanging judge is rumoured to still stalk the upper floors of the inn, looking for people to haunt. One felon who was sentenced to death, John Crofer, a sheep rustler, has been seen several times in the property. The evil presence of the judge's hangman has also been reported. However, not all the spirits in the skirid are evil. There are also friendly entities which have settled in the house, such as that of Father Henry Vaughan, a local clergyman. There is also the spirit of Fanny Price, a woman who worked in the inn during the 18th century and died of consumption at the age of 35. She is most active in room 3. Other ghostly occurrences in the house are the powerful scent of perfume, glasses flying without being touched, the rustling of a lady's dress, sound of soldiers in the courtyard and sightings of the White Lady. Visitors have reported many disturbing phenomena, and most of them have complained they felt as if they were being strangled. Others have said they felt nauseous and dizzy while in the property. I'm interested to know if any of you have been to the Skirred Inn. If so, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.